Mighty Max, Trapped by Arachnoid. So I never liked this one all that much. And to be pretty frank, it was one that my brother had when we were kids and I never envied him for it. Looking at it now, it is actually a pretty cool looking spider. It's easy to compare it to sets like the Scorpion, which I've previously reviewed, but in retrospect, I really like what's going on inside this place at a whole lot more. The spider itself always felt a little bit stocky for me personally, and I understand it's a playset, but as a kid, it just didn't have that creepy factor that I was expecting from a Mighty Max playset. But let's open this up and see what's happening inside. Obviously, we're getting a spider themed set, complete with our own massive spider called Creeps, the main villain, Arachnoid, and our Mighty Max. I've also added a Norman to this set and Virgil, trapped in a cage. They just kind of fit in far too well, and I haven't really had the chance to play with these guys yet, so, um, any excuse, right? So, Arachnoid's nest basically doubles as a dungeon and a laboratory where he carries out experiments. So there's some really great spider themed details going on in here combined with the grey brickwork for the ground level. I've complained about sets that overuse the black plastic but there is a great balance here overall with the painted details, the grey, the purple and the black. For a spider mutant, it's a pretty good setup in here. A bit like a split level studio apartment with the lab at the top and just I really love that dungeon section below it. So for the bad guys, we get Creep, a massive mutated spider. This is like a pet project for Arachnoid. After complaining about the playset looking a bit stocky when it's all closed up, it feels kind of hypocritical to say Creep feels too spread out, but um, all his appendages feel really, really long. Arachnoid on the other hand, he looks awesome. Great bumpy texture, fly-like head and the multiple arms. I also mentioned I keep a Virgil and a Norman in the set. No idea why the chicken, oh, I don't know why the fowl has green feet here. But like I said, they're actually a Mighty Max set that they fit really well into. So of course, this awesome set inspired a TV episode and really, all the cool ideas are right here in the set. For the story, for the play set, Max basically cuts a leg off Creep and uses the protein processor to cause an explosion that goes on to destroy the lab. The TV episode still had some great spidery moments and did a great job playing up Norman's only fear, spiders. They carried over the crazy scientist vibe and added some great explosions too, but Arachnoid fully transformed just wasn't as cool or creepy and the episode didn't have space for a cool dungeon either. Anyway, I've developed a real appreciation for Mighty Max Trapped by Arachnoid. After all these years, I think it's a really awesome playset. I also think these playsets have just generally aged really well. I've really enjoyed checking them out so far and if it's your kind of thing, be sure to check out a few of the previous reviews. Or look, I'll also have a link available through to the Leftover Culture Review website. And you'll be able to find all the Mighty Max reviews there complete with a few high quality images from each playset. So thanks for watching and tune in again soon. All the best. In other words, Ultra some big four games. Not only that, but have you ever heard of the term exclusive? This is exclusive to Time Zone, which means you're not going to see it anywhere else. So let's check it out. It's a fighting game. And it's a really, really cool fighting game. Look at all these digitized characters. I'm going to be this dude, and he's going to be a scary beast. And it's compliments like that that make me pop a wheelie.